Sunday. Since it's Sunday, it's time for another meal plan and another grocery haul to really get ready for the week. So this is a healthy grocery haul for two people. You're gonna see two different kinds of meals with my meal plans because I am on a weight loss journey and my boyfriend Jordan is trying to gain weight. So my meals are gonna look a little less carby, a little lower fat, and he's really going to be working on adding on some carbs and really intense protein. So our meals look a little different, but they're still healthy for both of us. So I'm gonna start with the meal plan and then we'll get into the grocery haul. So this is our meal plan for the week. As you can see, it's much smaller than normal and that's because we're going out of town on Wednesday. On Thursday, we're flying into New York and New Jersey and we're going to go see a Dua Lipa concert and we're also gonna go see a Broadway play, um, Aladdin. So we're super excited about that, but that made it so it was a little bit smaller of a grocery haul this week. So let's get into the meal plan. As you can see for me, this uh, week I'm gonna have egg sandwiches for breakfast. So on my sandwiches, I usually use English muffins, I have eggs, and then I have um, sausage. So that's my breakfast. Really focusing on carbs and protein for breakfast. Jordan is also going to have an English muffin. He's ha gonna have bacon, egg, uh, so he's gonna make a little sandwich with that, and then he's also going to have oatmeal on the side. So really trying to up his carbs there. Um, for lunches, we decided to make it easy and just make the same thing all week. We had some leftover uh, chicken breasts in the fridge, so we decided to do barbecue chicken with broccoli and rice. I am gonna do cauliflower rice for the most part with a little bit of brown rice mixed in, but Jordan will do um, regular rice for his. And as you can see, we only have four dinners. Now, full disclosure, we went to Trader Joe's last week, so we have some extra food that we don't normally have. And so we were trying to kind of work them into our meals for the week. So our dinners are gonna look a little carbier, but that's why I'm staying away from carbs uh, for lunch, is so that I can kind of have my carbs for dinner instead. So. Tonight, for Sunday, we're gonna have quesadillas and we're gonna use this Mexican cauliflower fried rice that we got from Trader Joe's. And our quesadillas are gonna have ground turkey and then quesadilla cheese in them. Also some onions and some peppers as well. Monday, we're gonna have turkey burgers. We have a pound of ground turkey, so we're gonna use half of it for the quesadillas and we'll use half of it for the burgers. So we're gonna make our burgers and then Jordan wants to have french fries. I'm gonna have some veggie tots. And sometimes we do this, we like to kind of cook a vegetable we haven't had before. So we decided to just go to Trader Joe's and figure out what kind of veggie we wanted to use. So we ended up picking up some rainbow shard. So we're gonna have that with our burgers, our fries, and um, that rainbow shard. So Tuesday we're gonna have keba, which is um, a middle, it's a Middle Eastern slash Mediterranean meatball that's breaded on the outside. Um, they're super good, so we're gonna make a homemade tzatziki sauce with that, and we're gonna have it with an arugula salad. We ran out of our homegrown arugula salad, so we did have to buy some um, arugula this week. And then Wednesday, we're gonna have seafood paella, and we bought a little salad kit to go along with it just so that we get a little bit more veggies in there. So that's the meal plan for the week. Let's move on to the grocery haul. So this is the full grocery haul this week. It's a little bit smaller, like I said, because we're going out of town and also we had some of our stuff that we bought at Trader Joe's last week, so it looks a little bit smaller. But some of this is also gonna function for um, next week's meal plan as well, so I'll kinda tell you about what we thought when we were at the grocery store when we get to it. Um, but this is what we got. It was $165 at Harris Teeter. So let's start over here. So this is the arugula blend that we ended up going with. We saw an arugula that was just the regular leaves, but they didn't look very fresh. So we decided to go with this, and we figured this one was a little um, larger, so it could provide us with a larger salad to go along with our kibbeh. So we got that arugula blend. We got some more cage-free eggs. Um, from Harris Teeter, and these are gonna be for our breakfast sandwiches that we're having this week. We got some fresh dill. This is gonna go with our tzatziki sauce that we're making for our keba. 
And this is the beautiful rainbow shard. Uh, we have never cooked rainbow shard before, so I am very interested in it. If anyone has any good recipes, you can share it with me. Uh, we're not having that until Tuesday, so you have some time to share a little recipe. Um, we also bought strawberries for our fruit for the week. Um, we had apples last week, so we went with strawberries this week. And I looked up this recipe. Um, I'm sure some of you guys follow uh, Hungry Girl. And she was doing a regular, she was doing replacements, lower fat replacements for cake. And so her recipe calls for this mixed with, I think it's a cup and a half of applesauce and so we grabbed this because Jordan loves cake and I love cake too so I was just thinking that'd be a nice sweet treat for the week I try to have at least one so I don't feel super deprived here is the bacon that Jordan's gonna use for the week for his sandwiches and his protein bars he went with these one almond ones they taste kind of like um, almond joys so they're pretty good Here's the rice cauliflower. I'm gonna put this in my barbecue chicken bowl. We got some carrots. These were on sale at Harris Teeter for 49 cents because they needed to be re repackaged. I'm, a, I'm sure that there's just like a little hole in it or something like that. So it was organic carrots for 49 cents. So we went ahead and bought them because we use carrots all the time in our cooking. Um, mixed nuts were on sale. Jordan's been taking these as a nice influx of fat or, um, you know, just a little snack for the day. So we went ahead and grabbed two of these. It was buy one, get one free. Um, and then when we were going down the aisle, we noticed these were buy two, get three free. And that was perfect for our meal plan for the next week. Since we're coming home from being out of town on a Sunday, we decided that that would be a really good thing to just have ready. So I don't have a lot of pressure to do meal prep on Sunday when we get back. It'll be just ready for us. We can take these and add, you know, some vegetables or a side to it to make life a little bit easier for us. So I got this garden veggie and I got this clam Manhattan clam chowder and Jordan went with the spicy chicken noodle chicken sauce sausage and gumbo and then tomato basil so those will be ready for us when we come back Jordan and I have been talking about pretzels for a very long time so we went ahead and bought these pretzels um, I haven't seen them at Harris Teeter before but I I really crave these every once in a while, and so there's two of them in there. It was perfect for just the two of us, a little carby snack um, to throw in one time this week and move on, and I'm sure it'll be delicious. We added in just a salad kit. Jordan likes the sunflower crisp one for just like easy vegetables to go along with the seafood paella, which is already like a pre-made dinner. So that'll be a really fast dinner on Thursday or Wednesday before we leave. I went with these Fit Crunches this week. They were on sale and um, I like the flavor of them. So I just decided these were a good, a good choice for this week. Jordan likes these golden crisper french fries. These are gonna be with the turkey burgers. We got our Oikos Pro, Pro um, 25 gram protein yogurt, and we're gonna make our tzatziki sauce out of this. We got some chili powder. This is gonna be for the, um, the quesadillas to saute our meat in, so it'll be taco flavored. Uh, we were out of glass cooktop cleaner, so we picked this up. It's our only non-food purchase this week. We got some vanilla jello, and we're gonna use this um, and mix it with some Cool Whip for our um, cake to act as the frosting. We're gonna add some cucumber and tomato into our arugula salad for the week, so we got those. We have quesadilla cheese. We went with the specific quesadilla cheese. It's a little more expensive than the regular Harris Teeter cheese, but we thought it might be pretty good with this. We got our feta crumbles. These are delicious, the Mediterranean herb ones. We got these to go in our feta salads as well. Mandarins for Jordan to snack on and 100% juice. These are my turkey sausages that I use for my sandwiches in the morning. We were completely out of protein powder, so we went with this peanut butter one. They didn't have any of the vanilla or chocolate, so we went with peanut butter, which is not technically our favorite, but we're gonna give it a try. 
And Jordan has been obsessed with oat milk lately, so we grab that. He mixes it with his protein drinks. The salsa is for our quesadilla night, which I'm really excited about. And the broccoli is for our lunches, cucumbers for snacks, and then our last item is the unsweetened applesauce that goes along with the cake batter for this week to make the low-fat cake. So here is everything. Again, it was $160, I think $65 to be exact. And it is going to be enough for just our short week and our dinners for this week. And then again, we thought a little bit about our next week when we come back with those soups. So it'll be maybe a little bit cheaper of a grocery haul next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So I hope you guys enjoyed that healthy grocery haul for two. And I hope that you guys feel inspired to meal plan and figure out what you guys really want to eat for the week. I just really love doing this and planning this so that I feel prepared for the week with what I'm going to eat. And it's also nice going out of town knowing that I planned for everything that we were going to eat this week. So there's nothing going to nothing going to be um, going bad in my fridge while we're away. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next week.